I am Alice of KHR Arts and Cloud Orchid Publishing, and today I am going to read some excerpts from my poetry collection, Synesthesia, Depression, Less Than This. Eyes burning, but the tears will not come. Whispers choke the throat and strangle the heart. Weakness in love, the double-edged sword, plunge deep within, weeping rose petals, succumbing to the wind, a life wound tight upon the spindle of destiny. It is not for us to want the folly of joy meets the chill grace of devastation. The will of a broken beast, measured from market, silver tells the tale in each tiny clink. Sell yourself, poor creature, and find your worth less. Give me my space, space. Give me my space. You who cuts me off, and shortens my pace. Space, give me my space. You who cuts me down with your gaze going everywhere but my face. Space, give me my space. You who thinks your organs and limbs require so much extra, and yet I'm told that my organs are so blessed and precious that they require constant vigilance and protection. Space. Give me my space. You who bids me to smile and give in to your so-called praise. Space. Give me my space. You who expects me to honor and take heed while you cavort and spread yourself like dandelion seeds. Space. Give me my space. You who presses into me, crushing my body, my bones, until my existence is erased. Space. Give me my space. You who speaks of me like a cut of meat at market, set to be appraised. Space. Give me my space. You who evokes false kindness and all the hope of a fond midnight embrace. Space. Give me my space. I refuse to give in, to apologize for my body. All this without disgrace. Space. Give me my goddamn space. Bad Blood. This was also published in Crippled Inspiration. They're implying screams erupting as the blue moon dawns. The waxing howl of the ungrateful sun, melting in the ways of knowing in the nothing of fear, still as a reaper in the mists of twilight, sighing against the dew-covered wheat, the non-believers, so cold the raven's eyes, holding my beating heart, blood trailing like ribbons in the dying gloom, hold me, hold me. Evil calls my name. Recall the question eating my mind, the shell of Medusa in the medulla obligata so serene, the serenity of my chaos, sublime to my ears, eating my aura inside out, welling of the tears, torture with sweet bliss of fermented estranged years, cool to the touch and resonating such warmth, Cool winter's day on a lovely June year. Melancholy snowflakes upon the sunlit beam, brass slashed by the bright gap, crushingly green and longingly flat. So dear to me the never-ending track, gorged like a nightcrawler, selfish nightingale, creeping willow widowed creature, so far in this lovely dune. Creation of an abomination and fitting the dance to an outlandish tune. Stopping nothing at the threshold and killing my party within. Alice Gothica. This is also published in Crippled Inspiration, as well as published in the Columbia College Chicago literary magazine, The Toucan. 
In the swaying light of the crystal clear sky, butterflies and birds do fly, pressing mine own fingers against the looking glass, hoping that I am the one true Alice. How does the crocodile maintain his shining scales while the Cheshire cat doth smile? If only he could show me the way and stay for a while. Rose petals graze my lips as the cap once did, a delightful sensation as reality ripped. Colors run, blend, and split again, moam rats running to the queen's garden, floating ever so slightly to the sport of croquet. How terribly dreadful for the queen to have her way. Off with my head, I'll keep it, thank you, please. But then, lo and behold, talking trees. To have a doll, love it, keep it, and see it wilt. It is so funny how the world will suddenly tilt. To one side and leave everything dead. Even this is enough already said. Give in to the heart as dark as a raven's eye in the chill of night. With blood dripping down from the folds of flesh that once held it so well. Hear the Cheshire cat sing as he smiles his long-toothed grin, and in the darkness find the heart still beating, beating within. Oh, to be whole again would be ecstasy, if only, if only. How my heart doth bleed, onto the floor of which no one can see. Tomorrow, tomorrow is a day I cannot reach, the stars are all too far away. Slipping into darkness, I die slowly and softly and cry, if only, if only. A soul lost and wandering forevermore, my raven, sweet raven, sing, sing for me. Hear my prayer and lift it up to oblivion. Oh, how my blood so crimson sweet rolls like petals and floats from me, tears hidden, but immortalized, encased. Forever is such a long time ago. A wish is like a glass bell, cracked and sealed. Penetrate me, and I cannot yield. Broken and dying, a bruise upon the flesh. The flesh of the soul maddened by death. Hold on to me, and keep me close. Never again shall I see this, oh. The clenching, the screaming, the torment of it all. I have nothing, yet everything, after all. To live is to die, and to die is to live. How I wish to be whole again. And feel the crimson rivers ebb. Slowly, slowly and carefully now. Hurt and pain and suffering are all I keep. Locked away from the world to see. Kill the key and keep the day. Night is too pretty and sweet. Too late, too late. But to lose, we'll wait. All right, y'all. I want to thank y'all so much for listening. I hope you enjoyed those excerpts. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a like. And if you're new, subscribe. All right, y'all. Thank you so very much. Take care. Bye-bye.